you can just imagine what his stat line will look like at the end of this one. Yeah, it could be one of those epic games, but we still have a long way to go. Charles Oakley out there with Ewing. Then it's Derek Harper, and it's Sprewell in at the three slot. That's the five for New York right now. Now here's Parker. And Ewing sends it back. Harper against Parker. Harper the pass to Houston. Low block shot on the way. Ewing can't hit. Ewing's gone 4 of 12 from the floor. Harper against Parker. Nice ball boomed by San Antonio. Pass to Barry from the arc. And they recover. New York foul. Allen Houston. That's his first personal. First team foul. Pass to Bowen. A floater. Jacks up a three. Shots good from Barry. Barry. Barry's got five points so far. And how about the stroke there from Barry? He has such an effortless release on his three ball. Inside. It's stolen by Duncan. Here's Barry. He has five. Pass to Bowen. From deep. Patrick Ewing comes up with the rebound. Knicks trail by three. Outside Harper. Ewing inside. Really left alone that time. He's got ten. And it's Parker with the ball. Bringing it up for San Antonio. They've only allowed two points so far here in the second half. Duncan with the screen for Parker. Misses the three. A tight game here in New York. Sprewell, the pass to Oakland. Ewing with it. Over Barry. And there's Patrick Ewing on the assist by Oakland. And one reason why Ewing is not only an all-star talent, but a Hall of Fame talent. Awesome at getting to his spots and then capitalizing. Here's Barry. Parker outside. Duncan with his screen on Hart. And Parker, here we go. Up again. It's good on the putback. And the Spurs lead by one. A great competitive game so far. And from the look of it, this one could go right down to the wire. Harper the pass to Ewing. Harper against Parker. Throws it up high. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Hits it from three-point range. Parker. Now it's a four-point Spurs lead. And as soon as Parker catches the ball, he immediately rises up and pulls the trigger. Love to see the confidence on display there. Oh, trying for it. Houston can't get it to go. Shoots it up. And the Spurs scoring again. And when Parker's converting on the pull-up, Jay, it has to be demoralizing to the defense. Parker against Harper. Sprewell, the pass to Harper. To the middle. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. To the paint. Here's Parker. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. That's from Parker's got the lead up to eight now for the Spurs. Wow, has he flipped the switch at halftime. Much more effective here in the second half. Your Nick City Dancer. Look now for San Antonio. Willis, he checked in for Muhammad. And it's Ginobili in for Barry. Pass to Sprewell. Will it go? That's going to be out of bounds. The Knicks will return possession. New York ball. A chance now to check out the Knicks' upcoming schedule on Sunday. They'll start out on the road and play the Lakers in Los Angeles. Then on Tuesday, they'll be facing Steven Adams and the Oklahoma City Thunder. 
And, and Kevin, I think you have to look at this as an opportunity to take a step forward. Sometimes tough road trips can bring the best out of a team and bring you closer together. It works well there. Not much resistance from the D. But it's a lazy effort. Let's just be honest. Hoping the shooter misses, that doesn't constitute defense. Now here's Janope. Five points in the game. And every miss finds its way to his hands. Well, what an impressive performance. It's more than just being in the right place at the right time. I mean, he's been active and aggressive. And there aren't many players more reliable from three-point range than he is, especially when the D's playing off him like that. And Ewing sends it back. They retain possession. Here's Houston. He's got 12. For the tie, it's hauled in by Duncan. Spurs leading by three. Ginobili outside. Willis with a screen on Ewing. Shoots from the high post. Green for two points. Ginobili's got seven points in the game. Yeah, in that mid-range game of Ginobili, so reliable, he is phenomenal at capitalizing from those spots on the floor. Passes to Oakland. Some nice passing by New York here. Shot left block. And he stays with it. Ewing and three chances on that possession, but they just couldn't find a way to score. Bowen, the pass to Parker. Here's Bowen. The three. Charles Oakley grabs the miss. Oakley's got nine rebounds now tonight. Now the pass to Houston. There's the drive. He feeds it to Ewing. He's hit again. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That's his third personal. First team foul. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for San Antonio. You know what? They've been hitting the boards hard. And it's paid off with a bunch of second chance points. And, and also, how about the points they've gotten in transition or on the fast break tonight? That's been a huge factor as well. And he makes the first. He hits both from the strike. And so it's Parker with it. He'll bring it up for the San Antonio Spurs. Three-point lead. Pass to Duncan. And here is Willis. Over McDaniel. And Willis gets it to go. Willis. Willis has got 11 points. He must have a real good feel for the fadeaway. I mean, he uses it even when no one's on him. Your Knicks City Dancers. Your Knicks City Dancer. All right, fans. That was your Knicks City Dancer. Make some noise. Get open, get open. And so it's New York with it. Pass to Springwood. To the middle. Here's Ewing. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. 16 points for him. Yeah, the D has not been able to keep the ball out of the paint at that end of the game. And Duncan throws it down hard. Tony oh, reversed it home. That was pretty. Agreed. The agility on display. Harper against Parker. Here's Freewell. Five points in the game. Can't hit from the elbow. And the fadeaway was the only option he had on that one. Defender there all over. Here's Ginobili. Parker kicks to Ginobili. Duncan with a screen for Ginobili. Lock at six. 
over to the left wing. Here's Bowen. Duncan trying to break loose with the second effort, and it's good on the layup. Duncan's got 24. I mean, he is just demoralizing his opponent right now on the backboard. They didn't want anything to do with him on that possession. Almost like they were just giving up on the play. And he's been doing this for a few games in a row now. We're looking at one of the hottest players in the league. Here's Ginobili following the basket by Tim Duncan. Passes it to Bowen. Inside, here's Duncan, and Duncan throws it down hard. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. Yeah, going defense to offense in an instant. Every team now calibrated to do that. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, she ate the pick working to full effect before the stuff. Yeah, and coach is definitely pleased. That's the execution we love to see. Come on again, for your next city dancer. Give him a hand, and your next city dancer. It's Ginobili with the drive, and that one drops for him. Ginobili's got the lead up to nine now for San Antonio. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Harper the pass to Davis. To the inside, here's Williams, and that one falls coming off of Davis's feed. Oh, you have to appreciate the ball moving and the commitment to getting a high percentage look. McKee the pass to Orr. Grant surveying the D. He dishes it to McKee. Six on the shot clock. Offensive rebound. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. There's the pass to Houston. Down low. Williams. And it's slammed in by Williams. One of the few guys in the league who make a lead pass like that. Oh, just a fantastic look. Ginobili the pass to Willis. A fadeaway makes that one his sixth of the night. Very healthy six for nine. And, and I like the decision making. He's taking what the defense is willing to give him. Oh, yeah. And that's just a good read on his part. As usual, his mid range jumper. From Williams kicks to Hart. Davis against Grant. New York now working with a new shot clock. That's the size for the out. I mean, he needed every single inch to hold in that one. Ginobili with the ball. He's got nine. Into the lane. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That's his first personal. Second team foul. This is his first free throw of the game. Mono Ginobili at the line. Two shots. Shooting two. That free throw good from Ginobili. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. We've got 148 left to play here in the third. Here's Houston. He's covered by Ginobili. Davis in the corner. Hands it from downtown. Davis has got nine. You know, he almost pulled the trigger on that possession, but recognized that there was a better option. That's what we mean by playing for your teammates. Here's Ori. Kicks it to McKee. Pass to Ori. Just four to shoot. Over McDaniel. With the clock winding down. And the dunk by Ori. There it is, guys. One of those effort plays that makes a big difference in the game. And GA, it is definitely making a difference so far today. This is why his teammates respect him. The hustle, the energy.
out of love. Here's Williams after the basket by San Antonio. Ginobili outside. There's 39 seconds left to play in the third. Pass to Ori. From downtown, McDaniel grabs the miss. McDaniel's got six rebounds now in the game. Here's Houston. He's covered by Grant. Here's Houston. There's the triple. The shot, no good. And so it's San Antonio holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming. And a chance right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Yeah, he put it on the platter, and it was served cold. Now, I love the poise, the decisiveness. This is how you run an offense. It's the and this quarter. is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. So with Ginobili on the bench, here's how the floor looks for Greg Popovich. We've got Nazi Muhammad. Barry is out there with Tony Parker. And it's Duncan. And it's Bowen in at the three, the small forward. Passes it to Ewing. San Antonio foul. Bruce Bowen. That's his first personal. First team foul. Starts outside. And here's Oakley. Just five on the clock. Now, here is Starks. He's tightly guarded. And he's been a force on the glass all game long. He's played with a doggedness and determination. That's how you end up with double-digit boards. Parker's shot is off. Knicks trail by eight. Davis finds Jackson to the right side. With the floater. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. The pass to Parker. Ice ball boom by San Antonio. Here's Bowen. He's guarded by Davis. With the drive. Bowen shot is off. And thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. Oakley is screen on Parker. Here's Jackson. Here's Oakley. Duncan with the block. And they get it back. Here's Bowen. He's guarded by Davis. Pass to Barry. Duncan with a screen on starts. Here's Barry. Pass to Duncan. Shoots over Starks. No good from Duncan. Knicks trail by eight. Right side Davis. Another steal. Passes to Barry. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting from Starks. It goes on Starks. Wow. Wow. He got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. For the Spurs. Brent Barry at the line, two shots. Shooting two. First free throw is good. Kevin Willis has checked in for Nazi Muhammad. Wow. 
Good on both. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. New York calls timeout. He does not look happy. Their defensive rebounding has, has been putrid, and they're giving up a ton of second chance points. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Well, I had a chance to listen to the Knicks coach talk about the game with his team, and he was emphatic. He said, we are not going to win this game playing this way, fellas. You've got to step it up. You've got to get aggressive, and you've got to battle to get back in this thing. We'll see if that pep talk got him going, guys. All right, David, thanks. Parker against Jackson. Oakley, a screen on Parker. Jackson passes to Oakley. And Charles Oakley out there with the slam. Mm, strong move to the 10, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, GA, right when your teammate makes that kind of play. They needed that, and I love that he just didn't settle for the lay-in. Here's Willis, accurate with a jumper from the elbow. Willis has got the lead up to 10 now for San Antonio. Outside, Davis. To the inside, Ewing. And that one falls coming off of Davis's feed. Davis has got three assists tonight. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Yeah, that's why he's hot. He's playing with a lot of confidence. That's why they're going to him with such consistency. And certainly they are not hesitating, letting it fly from deep here in the second half. And the call will be against Tony Parker. Tony Parker. That is his first foul of the game. Ano Ginobili checked in for the Spurs. Into the lineup for the Spurs. Look at the clock, a little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. It's stolen by Duncan. And now the fast break, Ginobili with the ball. Takes the three. Bowen shot is off. Next trail by 11. Outside Harper. The pass to Spreewell. Feeds it to Ewing. Duncan with the block. Now Ginobili. Pass to Willis. The dish to Parker. Spurs working the ball around now. Buried from 15 feet out. Parker. And the Spurs lead by 13. No, that, that's just too easy for Parker there. He, he loves getting those opportunities. Harper the pass to Ewing. Over Duncan. No good from Ewing. Spurs leading by 13. Ginobili finds Parker. Here's Bowen. Trying to find Parker. He's got it now. Yep, that Tony one goes in Parker. there. Strange game for him. Barely made any noise in the Bowen. first half. And here in the second, he's been everywhere. Pass to Spreewell. Ewing against Duncan. And they get it. Sprewell controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. That is really good work there on the offensive glass. Here's Bowen. Three-pointer. Patrick Ewing comes up with the rebound. His three-point game hasn't been there for him today, but don't sleep on him. At any moment, he could get his touch back. Here's Oakley, and Charles Oakley out there with the slam. And Kevin, lots of standing around and, and watching by the defense that time. And he makes them pay, doesn't he, Greg, now with that emphatic slam. The defense was way too soft. Somebody get out there and get tough. Here's Bowen. And the wide-open shot from Ginobili drains it from beyond the arc. 
Ginobili's got nine points now in just the second half. Uh, the man has no heart, and, and that's poor defense for a team that has a long way to catch up. Yeah, indeed, like that isn't going to get you back in the game. You have to stay connected to these shots. You know, I love how he absorbs the okay. foul and still has a chance to field. knock that one down. Thirteen foul at the line for New York. Patrick Ewing at the line. Two shots. That's good from Ewing. Both free throws good from Ewing. And just a better job of getting to the line here in the second half. Didn't get there once in the first. Ginobili the pass to Duncan. Harper against Ginobili. Duncan with the screen for Ginobili. They get the rebound. Misses in close. Knicks trail by 12. And there's the call on Ginobili. That is his first foul of the game. That's his and the Spurs first making a change here. Warriors checked in. Into the lineup for the Spurs. Harper the pass to Sprewell. Here's Hewing. That shot off. Great D that time from Duncan. If he was shooting even a little bit better, the story of this game would be a lot different. Parker dishes to Ginobili. The feed now to Duncan. That falls. Nice feed that time for Mono Ginobili. Ginobili's got three assists in the game. Harper the pass to Ewing. Now Harper. Pass to Houston. Here's Sprewell. Shot clock at six. True on the 14 footer. Sprewell's got four this quarter. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, the D is worrying too much about the other four guys. I mean, they can't give him open jump. Oh, oh he just punches that one down with a fury. And he rubs it in a little deeper with the hanging finish. And they're bringing you up close and personal on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Viewing a screen on Parker. The pass to McDaniel. Viewing against Duncan. Tries from the block. No good from Ewing. He hasn't been able to find any kind of groove this court. I mean, it seems like he's been running on fumes since halftime. Here's Bowen. Three pointers off the mark. Look, the more threes he misses, I mean, the more he wants to take. Where they do that at? <laughs> That's not the right mindset. Here's McDaniel. Ori defending. And the shot is good. The Spurs lead has been cut down to just 12 points with the basket from McDaniel. Oh, here's Parker. He's guarded closely. Ginobili kicks to Parker. He gets it in there. Tony Parker's got 13 points in the second half. And the defense making its presence felt, but Parker just too creative when he gets down low. Pass to Sprewell. Ewing with it. Over Duncan. And the shot is good. The Spurs lead has been cut down now to just 12 on the basket from Ewing. Oh, good anticipation on the field. He knows exactly where to go with that ball. And now, let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game, Tim Duncan. Yeah, his performance has been a jaw dropper. He must have been feeling great coming into the building tonight. Because once he hit the court, it was all working for him. He was in a zone. 
Well, to come in here facing a hostile crowd and have a game like he's had, that's what separates the good players from the great players. And it's Parker with the ball, bringing it up for the Spurs. Pass to Bowen from the arc. And it's good on the assist Bruce by Bowen. Parker. Bowen's got a couple of three-pointers now in the fourth for the Spurs. Knicks trail by 15. Starks outside. Here's Sprewell, covered by Parker. Sprewell, the pass to Starks. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. Here's Duncan. Oh! Duncan. And that one is hammered home. Just a great playmaking sequence by Parker there, coming away with the assist. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. And he's been trying to do it all himself. And it's not working. It's the forces. You got to focus on moving the ball and keeping everybody in Mills. Mills, he's checked in for Tony Parker. Now, here is Starks, covered by Mills. Passes it to McDaniel. Ewing a swing on Ori. Two minutes. Right wing. Lets it go from deep. Sinks the three-pointer. It was just a mystery what the defense was doing there. You never want to give him that much space outside the three-point line. Spurs leading by 14. And there's the pass to Bowen. Inside. Duncan trying to break loose. It's deflected. Ori against Starks. To the middle. Here's Ewing. Count it. Good. Ewing's got eight points in the quarter. Oh, no hesitation to get it to the rim. He uses his height advantage to convert the easy. And San Antonio has possession. 121 left in the fourth quarter. Nice shot by Ginobili. Ginobili. Late in the game, up big, they continue to attack. And, and it's not about running up the score. It's about closing the door on any kind of comeback. Here's Houston. Pass to Sprewell. Rebound, San Antonio. Now, here's Mills. Ginobili right side. Let's the three fly. And again, it's the Spurs from deep. Saw the opportunity to put this away and did not turn it down. That's the dagger. You could tell they wanted that one. I know that seals the deal. Here's Ewing. Plays it up and banks it in. A big athletic combo guard. Starks loves to score, but also more than willing to make the extra pass. Ginobili kicks to Mills. Pass to Ori. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. Five on the clock. Passes it to Mills. Over Starks. And too long on the shot. And so it's San Antonio easily taking this one. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. That's exactly right. But with the way they control the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony.